Hi there, big issue coming up on the show today, social media and kids. Yes, is it all bad or can social media have its benefits for our children? Well, it's the million dollar question and we'll answer that today. You know, according to Instagram, 47,000 images are uploaded to the site every minute and that's just one of many social media outlets. It's an extraordinary number. Many of those posts, of course, would be by young people, right? Whether we like it or not, social media has become an integral part of our kids' lives. But are we kind of panicking about it? Is it all bad? Mm. Here to explain is Dr Joanne Orlando. Nice to have you back, Dr Jo. Hello. 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 Big numbers though, right? And clearly social media is not going away anytime no, soon. No, and those numbers are just increasing. And Instagram particularly is one of the most used social media platforms by young people. Okay. It's the social media platform of choice. So we know there's lots of bad things. We know about cyber safety. We know about kids getting distracted when they're doing their yes. homework. But there is actually a good side. So okay. think Let's about hear. school. Okay. Yeah. okay, so we know kids are at school. They're on their textbooks. Imagine they're learning about about art, say it's Picasso. Okay, they can read about Picasso, they might see some of the images, but they can feel a bit removed for kids, like it's got nothing to do with their life. But go onto Instagram, there's lots of artists on there. Yeah. Some of them are probably using Picasso's techniques and kids can see that insider information and how they're actually using art today by real artists. Mm -hmm. So it can make that learning really come alive for kids. Wow. They get to see how it's applied today and it can make it a lot more relevant for them. Okay, so apart from school, are there pros, say, socially? for them, for kids. Yeah, so one of the things we know about social media is it connects you to other people yes. outside your network. So we know that's there's a bad side to that, yeah. but there's definitely a good side to it. So health-wise, it can actually offer them a lot of support to a network that they mightn't have in their local area. So a child might have a condition that they might feel a bit embarrassed about, or they don't oh, know anyone who's got it, they can feel a bit on the outside. So they can go on to like a Facebook group, say it's for epilepsy or a different kind yes. of health condition, connect with people who have got that. Find community. Yeah. Further yeah. on the health issue though, I mean we often see the fitness posts and the yeah. action posts. Is that still a pro because we're comparing ourselves to others? Well, that body image comparison is absolutely, mm. oh, you know, it can be quite damaging mm. for their self-esteem. So that's where education comes in. So around social media, using it to help to educate children, but also educating them about those things, particularly around the health and fitness mm. aspect of it. Now, it can make all of us quite antisocial, but is there an actual effect on their relationships? Yeah, well, about 94%, exactly, mm. uh, of young people say that connecting with their friends and strengthening their Bonds. established oh. friends, so their school friends, their soccer friends, that's the biggest plus of social media. And about 64% of kids say that that's where I'm actually making new friends. So I know my, my daughter was starting at a new high school, seriously worried and nervous yeah. about it. She had one friend online who went to the new school who then introduced her That's to a cool. whole lot of people. Nice. So yeah, day one, cool. she was good. Just got to be careful of the little hang up about getting certain likes. How many likes did I get yeah. for that sort of uh, self-validation, et cetera, yeah. right? That's right, yeah. You're, you're the social media uh, <laughs> queen here of Am the Castle Wellness <laughs> I'll take it. Do you take on board this? Are you going to approach things differently hearing this from Dr Well, jo you know, when it comes to my child, I'm actually relieved that this has all come into action now and yeah. hopefully there'll be more boundaries around it when he's mm. old enough to use it. It's a scary time for, adult, uh, for children, but I think knowing that there is a plus and it is such a community is a positive. So... Thank you for being here and explaining it That's to us. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Joe. Nice to see you. Now, 